In this video, we're going to talk about converting Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates. So to begin, I have a Cartesian plane here with an x and y axis. And typically, when we put a point on this plane, we locate it using x and y values. So for example, this point is located at 2, 1. In the polar coordinate system, we can locate the same point using two different values. So this time, we use r, theta where r is the distance from the origin of the coordinate system to the point, and theta is the angle that we rotate up from the positive axis to our, our line. When we show both of these coordinate systems, we can see that they form this right triangle. So I'm going to pop that triangle out, hide this, and we're going to use this triangle to figure out what r and theta are in terms of x. We're going to do that using the Pythagorean Theorem, and when we do that, we get that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, and theta is equal to arctan of y over x. So now we can try to take a Cartesian point and convert it to polar coordinates. So we're given 12, 5 as our point, and we want to convert it. So we're going to do that by using these formulas, and we're just going to plug in the values that we know. So we have 12 and 5, so it's going to be 12 squared plus 5 squared, square root of 144 plus 25, square root of 169, r is equal to 13. And we'll do the same thing for theta. This is going to be the arctan of 5 over 12, and it will equal 22.6 degrees. So. We can draw this out on our coordinate system over here. This length is r equals 13, and this angle theta is equal to 22.6 degrees. That's pretty straightforward. We do another problem here. We have point negative 310 up here, and we want to figure out what its polar coordinates are. So again, oops, steps are going to be mostly the same. We plug in what we know. This is going to be negative 3 squared plus 10 squared equals square root of 9 plus 100, square root of 109. And this is going to equal 10.4. Down here, we're going to do tan negative 1 of 10 over negative 3. And this comes out to be negative 73.3 degrees. So in this case, if we actually drew that out, that angle would be somewhere down here because it's negative. So when you're in quadrant 2, which is where our point is, and I've labeled the quadrants like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. When you're in quadrant 2, you need to add 180 degrees to this angle. When we do that, theta is equal to 106.7 degrees, which looks a little nicer. OK, so now we're going to look at one more problem here. What is 5, negative 8 in polar coordinates? So the point now is in quadrant 4 down on the bottom. And we'll figure out what r is. Square root of 5 squared plus negative 8 squared. Square root of 25 plus 64 equals square root of 89. And this equals 9.4. And now finding theta, arctan of negative 8 over 5 equal to negative 58 degrees. So you can write polar coordinates using a negative theta value, but typically they're written with a positive value. And when you're in quadrant 4, the rule is to add 360 degrees to this value. So when you do that, you get theta 
is equal to 302 degrees. And so now we will define it using this counterclockwise notation. And again, we have R equal to 9.4. And then this big angle here is going to be 302 degrees. When you're converting from Cartesian coordinates to polar coordinates, occasionally the arctan value you get for the angle theta can be uh, wrong. So depending on where your point is in the Cartesian coordinate system, you might need to add some angle degree to the arctan value. So for instance, if your point is in the first quadrant, the arctan value is okay. But if the point is in the second quadrant, then you'll need to add 180 to the value that you get from calculating arctan. Same thing for if you're in quadrant three, here you'll need to add 180 to, to the value. And if you're in quadrant four, you'll need to add 360 degrees to arctan.